gonna mug me. I'm not gonna mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. Ken and Sarah are looking to the country to buy their first property because starter homes in the city are tight and so is their budget. It is unbelievable how much space we can get for our budget. We're going from a shoe box to a shoe store. I mean, it is amazing in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. But wide open spaces might not be the most natural habitat for these city hipsters. That's so gross. Get out of here. Touch it. No. Touch it. <laughs> oh my God. They have a budget and a wish list. Now it's time to find out what's for sale. Ken and Sarah rent a small one bedroom apartment in the city. We kind of have always wanted a place in the country. Mm -hmm. I think it's the ideal way for us to get in the market. Get the space, get that, you know, peaceful retreat that we want, um, enter the market, but still live in the city. You know, I think if we rent in the city and own in the country, then uh, we get the best of both worlds. So I know they've been really frustrated with what their budget is going to get them in the city. I think that I can find them something that they're really going to get excited about. They have a really good budget for cottage country, $680,000. So to start them off, I'm showing them a brand new build on Lake Cachaga Wigamog. It's got 100 feet of frontage and new modern finishes. List price, $649,000. Look at that view. This is great. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, uh, this waterfront is fine. I mean, it's great, but it's really suburban feeling. Is that weird? We are at a very big lake chain here. This is actually Cashaga Wigamog Lake. Okay. Cashaga Wigamog. Cashaga Wigamog. Cashaga Wigamog. Join us at our cottage at Cashaga's Wigs. Hammond. Hammond. Yeah. Kashaga Wigamog. I don't think it's that hard. Uh, yeah, so the property being so close across the lake is kind of what we're hoping to avoid. I mean, being in the city, we're used to it, but out here we're looking for, for something a little bit more private. So I will admit the cottages across are a little close, yeah. but from a privacy perspective for your own space, this yeah. is actually really private. That's fine in the city, that's that's a given in the city, but when we're out in cottage country, we want that that more of that privacy, and that, that was a big thing for us. I mean, it's not like they can see like right at us, but yeah. It's a little bit, it just feels a little bit suburban having homes that I'm backing onto, as opposed to nature, I guess. Right. Yeah. I wasn't expecting them to want as much privacy as they seem to want at the waterfront. Yes, you can see the cottages across the way, but that's really, really normal in this budget talk about waterfront appeal, look at that cottage. I know. Isn't that gorgeous? It's incredible. Yeah. It definitely is that quintessential cottage you think of when you come up north, yeah. for sure. Well, I think that you're really, really gonna like the inside, so before it really starts to rain, I think we should go in and have a look. Okay. okay let's go. Follow me. Uh, what? This is amazing. Um, a fireplace, yes, please. This is great. Look this view. The view. It almost feels like an infinity pool now with the deck yeah, yeah, and the water. Yeah. It just kind of feels like it's all one. So I'm glad it's like the, that naughty pine, that original pine. And I love these hand scraped floors. Yes. They are so nice in the yeah, wide these plank. These are like gorgeous. They're killer. You're the cook? Uh, I'd like to say I'm the cook and he is the, gr the grill master. I am 100% confident that I have found you the Perfect kitchen. This actually is my dream kitchen. Like yeah. a gas stove, yes please. A wine fridge, yes. <laughs> you kind of seem like wine drinkers to me. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, I love a good wine. It's really great, this is so nice. I mean, way better than what we have. This kitchen is amazing. Like seriously, with the beautiful countertops and then you have the wine fridge. The kitchen was incredible, plus the view. Oh. Wow. Nice. This is really great. Good size great. bedroom. Yeah, it's a great size. And I love that the window is right there with the lake right there. Yeah. Really nice view. Yeah. yeah. How does this compare to your bedroom in the city? <laughs> it's actually a little bit smaller, which yes. is really funny. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our bedroom is actually not a bad size, but this is still good. Functional. Functional. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Okay, well, follow me. Great. Great. Got a little bit more to show you. 
We have a pretty good sized bedroom, but it's fine. It's great view, great view out of that bedroom. Oh. Oh, this is great. This is great. It's great. We got a nice tub. Perfect. Yeah. Dual flush. I like that. I like the yeah. dual flush. <laughs> nice finishes. Yeah, it's great. I thought it would really suit your taste. Very totally. functional. 100%. You know, you often see very small bathrooms in cottage country. Mm -hmm. This is not small. No, it's not small. Okay, so there's one more thing to show you on this floor. So right. why don't you just go through those doors and let me know what you think. Okay. Awesome. What? Oh, this is great. I thought the other room was supposed to be our bedroom. Surprise! This is amazing! So this is a fully functional master suite. Wow. We have a walk-in closet. Oh my god. You can keep all your clothes. I don't even, we don't even have those in our apartment. At your home. Oh, no. A full ensuite right there. Ah, with a tub. There's a tub. There is an ensuite! So excited. It's awesome. It's amazing. I don't care about tubs. And as you can see, this room is substantially bigger than the room over there, and it's got the same view. Yeah, that's the thing. You, uh, but with also like other windows, you get like a lot more of that natural right. light, which like, is so great. Yeah, the forest. I mean, this antique chandelier is really cool. You know what? This master bedroom is blowing me away. I love this master bedroom. Yeah. I love it. So there's actually a whole other level to this cottage. What? Oh my gosh. There's a basement. This is crazy. I can't wait to see the basement because I feel like what we're seeing up here is going to be even better down there. Um, okay. Oh, is this where they keep the bodies? Yeah, definitely <laughs> uh, needs some work. This is an unfinished space. Right. I right. uh, was expecting it to be a little bit nicer coming from upstairs, but so spacious and lots of windows. I thought that, you know, you would appreciate the fact that you can make this your own. True. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, I just feel like it's a little bit... Um, unfinished? Unfinished. So that's the one downside of this place, but um, everything else is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, I think my eyes have been opened and my jaw has dropped. I just can't believe what we're getting for the price. I mean, we would never find this in the city, ever. No. Ken and Sarah are turning to cottage country to purchase their first property. After being disappointed that their budget of $680,000 can't get them much of what they want in the city. The first property that I showed them checked off many of the items on their wish list inside the cottage, but the waterfront isn't exactly what they're looking for. We want that, that more of that privacy and that, that was a big thing for us. So now we're gonna head to Redstone Lake. This property has four bedrooms, two bathrooms and gorgeous waterfront. List price, $679,000. But the cottage might need a little bit more work than the last one. Look how cute yeah, this, this is, is, eh? This is this is cottagey. Cottagey? But more rustic looking. We are on Redstone Lake, okay. which is actually much different than the last um, lake that we were on. It's a very picturesque lake, and as you can see, we are in total privacy yeah. here. I love the privacy. Which I that yeah, loving yeah. that. So the last place we were at, you know, you didn't really like the view from the waterfront, so let's go see the waterfront here and um, See what you think. Okay. Right. Look how gorgeous that is. No, it's it's oh. incredible. I can't even describe to you how happy I am that I don't see any houses. There's no houses yeah. to be seen. All I see is docks and boats, and I'm fine with that. And there's yeah. a way more than enough space for those boats to fly by, and I won't care. And there's a beach. Look at this beach. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Crazy. The beach is going to be there all year round. So yeah. the high water mark is going to come right up to about that rock right there. Okay. But you're always going to have the shallow entry into the beach. Oh, that's oh, so but... great. Come on, how gorgeous yeah. is this? Like This is insane. Sand beach, deep water off the dock. Ugh. This is exactly what I pictured when I thought of a lake. I am in shock. This is what I want. Yeah, this, this is, is what I want right this here. Was our, this is yeah. our vision. This is what we dreamed of. This is so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this is the cottage life that everyone dreams of. If this cottage matches the property, I mean, we're, we're I don't know, we're sold. I, this place could be amazing. Welcome to the cottage. Oh, man. <laughs> Holy moly. 
I'm in a pine prison. Oh, oh come <laughs> on, come on. This is a cottage. Uh, Get your head out of the city. It's true. That's true. It's it is a, a cottage. It's a spacious foyer. Someone can come in. Get your jackets <laughs> off. Get yeah. your shoes off. Boots Sorry, off. Sorry, I can't focus on you with this fish behind your head. <laughs> I don't know why there's fish on the wall. I don't know why there's so much pine on the wall. Um, I feel like it is a pine coffin. It's a cottage, right? We yeah. just have to keep an open mind here. Yeah. It's not our aesthetic, but this isn't our home so, in the city. Yeah, I don't mind a bit of wood, but this is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so I know they're not thrilled about the Naughty Pine, but the important thing about this property is that it's on the perfect lot. They have years to change this cottage, and this would be a really, really good investment opportunity. Oh my, so there is more pine. Okay, so it does continue throughout. I, I understand there's a theme. <laughs> the pine theme is throughout. I mean, this yeah. is a cottage. I thought this, like, real rustic feel would go over really well with hipsters like Ken and Sarah. So what are you gonna do, right? At least there's we could we could do something to change it. I know, but it's really heartbreaking. <laughs> okay, but I mean, come on, this is a good sized room, yeah. good sized guest room. No, it really is, and I, like I said, I'm I'm open to it. Great. Why don't we see what else is going on? Great. <laughs> All right. Why don't you have a look in there? I I think you'll find that it suits your like urban downtown taste. Um, a, a Swedish spa continues. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like this whole place is like a sauna. Okay, so, so the whole place is actually Naughty Pine. Okay. But really, like you can't get past that? I think we could get past it because we have to remember the property, right? Sure. Like it was a stunning property and there are things we can do to make it better. Well, I am a little concerned about the height of that tub once I stand in it. Well, go get in it. Let's, Let's see. Try it out. I'm telling you right now. Show us how you shower. <laughs> <laughs> it literally will only wash my chest, and I'll have to do this. Who are these people who are designing these showers? There's more to me than this, okay? Wow, what a great open concept space. Yeah, no, it, it really is. I love that open concept, and but I particularly love that view. Like, that's a stunning view. I'm trying to keep an open mind um, because the property's insane. Amazing, yeah. exactly, Sarah, exactly. So you get what I'm trying to show you yeah, then, yeah, right? Yeah, I do. Stainless steel appliances? Yeah. Like yeah, good, great. good, yeah. good size kitchen? Come on, you can like get in there, you can see yourself cooking. Yeah, I love this area here. We can put out like some cheese, some meats, have some wine, everyone comes together. Yeah, I mean, it's a really great prepping space for cooking. It's great. And I mean, the kitchen is a perfect size for a cottage kitchen. Yeah, good Absolutely. Flow. Good yeah. flow. And, oh, look, look over here. It is actually whitewashed. They actually have already done what you want to do, and look how amazing it looks. I mean, they've only done one wall, but yeah. you've got an amazing wood-burning fireplace. You'd be able to sit in here, got the fire going, crackling. I think it just adds a lot of light to this room just in that one wall alone. So I think it needs to happen everywhere. Right, but yeah. at least you can see what it looks like if you were to do yeah. it everywhere, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, it is gonna take some work, but at the end of the day, it's about the property. There's a bar. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, look at that I fireplace. I love the fireplace. Wood burning fireplace, we've got a bar. So on this floor, we actually have two more really good sized bedrooms. That's amazing, oh, that's yeah. so great. Yeah, it is more pine, but we also have a half piece, so a toilet and a sink. Yeah. Okay. It's really dark in here and I just feel like, you know, it just sucks the light out of the place. You know, it's so beautiful and bright outside, but this is like a dark hole. I just don't like, I don't like this place. I don't like it, I just don't like it. Ken and Sarah are on the hunt for a property in the country after being disappointed to learn that their budget of $680,000 can't get them everything they're looking for in the city. They've seen two properties now, but I'm starting to think that their tastes are richer than their budget. Oh man, <laughs> holy moly. I'm in a pine prison. Oh, oh come <laughs> on. So now I'm gonna take them to Balsam Lake and this is the perfect property for them. The cottage is completely turnkey and it's on great waterfront. But the catch is that it's over their budget. I like this dock. This dock is big. Yeah. This is yeah. what I want. Yeah. A Sit big here, dock. Yeah. Entertain. Yeah. Totally. You've got nice shallow entry right there. What do you think of the view? Yeah, you know what? Although we can certainly see the neighbors across the way, it's not so much in your face. There's right. still They're a nice. Far enough. Yeah, there's a nice distance. Yeah. So I like that. Oh my god. 
What? Okay, what the, what is that? Oh. That's a dog spider. It's not oh. that big. I've never seen a spider that big. Like, that's disgusting. Oh, no, here. touch it. No. Touch it. <laughs> oh my God. We are in cottage country. I am doing Ken and Sarah a favor by bringing them close to that insect. They're gonna have to deal with plenty of spiders, plenty of ants, and they're just gonna have to deal with it. No, no, <laughs> not okay. Welcome to the cottage. Aww, oh my gosh. This is so great. This is amazing. You like? I yeah, love this. It's so cozy. Yeah. Nice pine hardwood floors. Pine floor. Yeah. Great. And I mean, that fireplace is amazing. Look yes. at it. It's stunning. Yeah. It's amazing. It's propane, so you don't need to worry about wood, you know, so that's really good. Right here, we have a great space for dining. And yeah. they have a small table, but I can see us fitting like a nice big harvest table there and still sure. making it work. Cause, yeah. cause we really want to invite our family up here. We want to have like Christmas dinners, Thanksgiving dinners, yeah. and to, to have a big table. And I think that would really fit there, which is so great. And even better is you have that amazing view, view of the water. Yeah, great. the water's right there. You literally yeah. feel like you're on the water. Totally, yeah, that's so cool. So you like the li living room, you like the dining room. Yeah. So let's look at the kitchen. Hey. And I know what you're gonna say, so just say it. <laughs> Get it out. Well, I mean, the surfaces aren't necessarily granite. No, or marble. Or marble, but that's, no. it's fine. I actually, doesn't bother me that much. Yeah. But this is not so bad. And I think it's, there's great flow to this area. I mean, you have your, your stove here, prep space here, which then leads into your eating area. So we, again, we can put out a beautiful spread here. Sarah, you are one smart girl. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You are going to get so much use out of this three-season wow. sunroom. This is awesome. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. I know. I love this like indoor outdoor feel. Like yeah. I love how it just transitions. But yeah, you're right. It does feel like you're outside. Yeah. That view is crazy. Like it's so great. I love that. I, and again, you feel so cozy. And I can actually uh, imagine spending time here in the winter. You know, seeing all the snow and yeah. then just be like curled up with a big blanket, a book. Um, oh, it'd be so great. The naughty pine in here is actually not bad. I actually don't mind it. I think it's just because there's more light in here yeah. and it doesn't feel overwhelming. It's the light. It's totally the light. Um, I'm really excited to see what the rest of this place looks like. Great. Let's go look. Okay. Ooh, let's go. You've liked everything so far, yeah. so I'm really excited. Oh, wow. Oh, this is great. This is so great. This is so great. I mean, this is a really nice room. I like how the vaulted ceilings have carried through. through totally. The and those two windows are really great. That's nice. It's a great room. Good. Let's go look at the rest. Cool. We have a four piece. Oh, what a disappointment. Why is it disappointing? Well, the shower. I mean, the fact that I can't see the shower head past the curtain and I'm taller than that curtain is a, not a good sign for me. I mean, if. If I only had to worry about renoing a bathroom, then I guess it's not yeah, the worst exactly. thing. But. And it's not a very big bathroom, right? No. So a reno would be pretty yeah. easy. It's, it's small, Minimal. but whatever. Yeah, right? yeah. We're used to a small bathroom in our place. So okay. more to see. Okay. So follow me. Okay. Cool. And we'll go look at the lower level. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is amazing. This is Isn't so this nice? great. This is so great. I mean, what a great rec room. You yeah. walk right out to this beautiful landscape oh. patio. Yeah. You can have these doors open. This is unexpected. Yeah. I thought this was going to just be another unfinished basement. And look how high the ceilings are. I mean, this is really unexpected. I mean, I can't even imagine yeah. this is here. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. And again, so bright. Yes. Which you would not expect from a basement. From a basement. No. Yeah. You know, this is very, very rare, actually, yeah. for a cottage to have, you know, this much open space and be this bright at, for the basement. It certainly gives us some food for thought. It's out of our price range. Um, do we want it? Do we not want it? Can we do it? Can we not do I it? I don't know. I mean, I think maybe it's a wake-up call for us. Uh, maybe I have too many things on my wish list. Am I being unreasonable? I don't know. Ken and Sarah are property virgins renting a small apartment in the city. After seeing that their budget of $680,000 isn't quite enough to get them the space they're after in the city, they've decided to check out if a cottage property might be a better way to get into the market. I've shown them three cottages now, each one bigger than their home in the city. Now, it's time for them to make a decision. So you've had some time to think. We saw three very different properties. Um, yeah. Is there one that we can eliminate right away? I think 
Yeah, I think the the last one, mm -hmm. the uh, Balsam Lake. Balsam mm -hmm. Lake. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was great, but it's just it's over our budget. I don't necessarily think we're comfortable in taking that extra leap over our budget. I think, especially because we're we're property virgins, and it makes us a little nervous. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. So that leaves us with. Yeah. Can you say the name? Kabajabo. Kishega Wigma. <laughs> Which you'll have to learn how to say if you end up picking it. Yes. And Redstone Lake. So what are the pros and cons of each? What are you weighing? The first one, the more modern house. It was a beautiful, beautiful property. Yeah, and I agree. I think it had a great place for entertaining family and friends mm -hmm. and lots of bedrooms and all the amenities we really do need. Obviously the hugest downside, it's a waterfront there. It's like a highway, a freeway of boats back and forth. Yeah. So for me, those are the pluses and minuses for that one. You can change the cottage, but you can't change the property. So true. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah. You ready for this? I like naughty pine. <laughs> Isn't that the weirdest thing? I can't even handle it. Um, but. The reason why I like Naughty Pine is it really comes down to that lake right. and to that beachfront and that beautiful clear water. The land there is so exceptional yes. and the view is so exceptional and the topography that the house I can change and make mine or ours later. It's so hard because we saw three places and each had like their own really great aspects and then downsides too. Right. So, so we're at a point where it's stalemate. So being, you know, new cottage buyers, it's not unusual to be at a stalemate yeah. and kind of be like, you know, we just haven't found the perfect yeah. one yet. Uh -huh. And it's a big investment. I just feel like I want us to find that happy medium because mm -hmm. I really, I just, I love what we can get for the money. We just haven't seen yeah. the whole package yet. Fair enough. So if you guys are, you know, stalemated, yeah. then that tells me that you're not ready to make this decision. Yeah. And if you were to pick one, one of you might not be happy with it. Mm -hmm. And that is not what we want, no. right? No. So at the end of the day, you are young, mm -hmm. you know, there's lots of time. This is a discretionary purchase. You know, we'll just continue looking. I'm so confident that a cottage property is the best place for us to be investing our money. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, we we're gonna live in a hovel in the city anyway, so we might as well have a bit of space. Totally agree. This, this is a good investment for us. Yeah.